video, I'm going to show you how to set up real simple branch logic. So this is going to help you control how your prospects flow through your survey and go from question to question based on how they've answered the previous question. And it's real simple. So here we are, and I've got a, a very simple demonstration survey opened up. So we've got our most important question. So what is your single biggest question? So that, uh, if I click open branch logic, it's going to show you that we have the option to choose which question we want them to go to next. Now, this is not based on the answer. This is just based on whenever they answer the question, this is where they're going to go next. And the reason why is because with a, uh, with a general text area type of answer, a long form text, um, it's, there's no way to base that off of the answer. So under a situation where you've got single choice, that's where things get really interesting. So for example, uh, has it been difficult to solve your stubborn belly fat problem? So let's go ahead and click add scoring and branch logic. So when we see this, you see that we, we have, if someone chooses this answer, yes. Uh, let me just show you where you would find the other one. So let's see this little dot down here, that moves us forward to the next one. And if there were three, for example, if I go down here and let's say I added, yes, no, and maybe, and I click on scoring and branch logic. Now I've got three dots. So we go no, and maybe, and I can go back to yes. All right, so let's go back up here to the first one, and I'm gonna click on add scoring and branch logic. So if someone chooses the answer yes, I can take them to uh, the next question. Let's say if they answer the question no, maybe I want to skip ahead to uh, to the user data. This would be the opt-in form. So just take them right there. I don't want to even ask them um, the, the next question. I just want to skip right ahead. So it's really just that simple. But while I'm here, let me show you at the very bottom, there's also the option to pass along a score. So it says, and increase their total score by, and as you can see, this is optional. But if you're going to use it, what you can do is you can say, okay, if the answer yes, I want to score, give them a score of 10. If they answer no, maybe I leave it at zero, maybe I make it five, whatever you want. You have all sorts of flexibility here. Now, how might you use this? Well, uh, depending on the depending on the overall score, you can do some pretty fancy things at the end. You could redirect them to a specific thank you page uh, based on the score. I'm not going to show you uh, that step in this video, but I'm just going to plant that seed that that's one possibility. You could say, okay, if the score is above 100, then take them to this thank you page. Otherwise, take them to this other thank you page. So you could do some fancy scoring and redirecting them to custom pages based on that. The other thing that you can do is you can pass that information into your email software or your CRM. And that way you can score your leads and you can send them through different sequences or even have, if you have salespeople or if you're the salesperson following up with them, uh, if you're doing that type of follow-up, you could follow up on your best prospects. So you could score the best, best leads highest based on how they answer the questions. Uh, third idea, would be that if you could use the score to uh, to to give them an, an output uh, to show them the score at the very end, so you could pass that information to the thank you page and say, "Hey, congratulations! You scored 88 out of 100 on your social media platform development." Uh, you know, to to see what you can do to bring that up to 100, click here. So those are, those are some ideas about how you could use the scoring. But for right now, I just wanted to show you that scoring exists here and where you could add this. And so you can add this question by question. So for example, I could go ahead and save this. And then I could go down to, uh, to this other, to this next single choice question. And depending on whether they say yes, or they say no, or they say maybe, what I can do is we could say, well, if they say yes to this one, we could increase their score by 20 and the rest of them will leave as zero. So th these two scores will add together. So just to give you an idea of what I mean by that, on this first one, if they answer yes, we're giving them a 10 since everyone starts at zero. 
And then on the next one, if they answer yes, we're increasing their score by 20. So they would have a total score of 30. So this gives you the ability to adjust their score and gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the area where we're going to add in the, the rules because you can base the rules off of their score. But for this video, I just wanted to show you the branching based on the answers and also how you can add the score and kind of how it works and then we'll tie everything together in the rules section.